By radio before dawn, almost 80 miles offshore, Israel warned the convoy it wouldn't be allowed to sail to Gaza. You are approaching an area of hostilities, which is under a naval blockade. And Israel says five ships in the so-called Freedom Flotilla were boarded without incident. The battle came on the 6th, the Turkish flag, Mavi Marmara. Descending from a helicopter into chaos on the deck, Navy commandos opened fire unprovoked, according to pro-Palestinian activists on board. Israel denies that. A TV reporter was among the 600 passengers. They are raising a white flag to the Israeli army. This is after one person has been killed. Israeli military video did show a different picture. Commandos beaten as they boarded the ship and one thrown overboard. Not expecting such resistance, Israel says some troops had weapons that fired only paintballs to subdue a crowd and met attackers armed with knives and guns. Uh, they deliberately attacked the first soldiers who came on the ship. They were mobbed. They were clubbed. They were uh, beaten, uh, stabbed. There was even a report of uh, uh, gunfire. And our soldiers had to defend themselves, defend their lives, or they would have been killed. Israel airlifted casualties to hospitals on shore. Seven commandos were among the 30 people wounded. And Israel defended itself by insisting the convoy's humanitarian aid mission was a fiction. The organizers' intent was violent, their method was violent, and the results were unfortunately violent. Now, so's the reaction. There was fury in Gaza. On the West Bank, the Palestinian president said Israel had committed a massacre. The fallouts caused Prime Minister Netanyahu to cancel plans to meet President Obama in Washington tomorrow. And the White House said that's understandable. But Israel's facing a new tide of anger from many of its friends, including Turkey, which branded the botched raid state terrorism. Richard Roth, CBS News, London.